The Pacific Northwest last saw a big earthquake about 300 years ago. Scientists widely expect the region to experience a similar event every 500 years on average. Thousands of tiny tremors over the past few months have moved parts of Washington and Vancouver Island westward. It's a near annual event that backs expectations by some scientists that a big earthquake may hit the Seattle area harder than their previous models suggested. This recent wave of activity began in May and appears to be dying off now, according to the University of Washington, Earth Sciences Professor Ken Krager. It's a process known as episodic tremor and slip thought to increase stress on locked faults areas where tectonic plates cannot move past each other. Earthquakes occur when the pressure on the rock zones reach the breaking point and the plates snap past each other. Scientists believe an episode of tremors could someday trigger a so-called megaquake on the offshore fault called the Cascadia Subduction Zone. The 700 mile long fault runs from Vancouver Island to Northern California and can unleash earthquakes of up to magnitude 9.0. It is one of the biggest faults in the USA. While older models suggest that the locked zone is mostly shallow and offshore, the location of these tremors indicate that a big earthquake layer of rock jerking past each other may take place closer to Seattle than previously thought. That increases the risk that it could be closer to the population centers, which means stronger shaking in the Puget Sound cities, Krager went on to say. Although these tremors have likely been occurring for hundreds of years, the process of episodic tremor and slip was only discovered in the early 2000s and much more research has to be done, Cassidy went on to say. The slower nature of these tremors allows scientists to better understand ruptures, which are much harder to study in the seconds long duration of most earthquakes. You can study these ruptures in detail in a way that you can't with a regular earthquake, Krager said. There's a lot of mystery left. What do you think? Will there be a massive earthquake in the Washington, Vancouver area? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.